Hi, this is Jaron at the Newport, Oregon England Marine, and I'm just going to show you a simple halibut setup. Alright, so here we have a uh, Viscaro six and a half foot rod and a Penn Squall 30 level wind reel and that's a pretty simple rod and reel that you can use um, to catch yourself a halibut. Uh, as far as rigging goes, um, the easiest way to do uh, halibut fishing is with a halibut spreader like this here. Um, you'll attach your weight down on this end and for you know shallow to medium or shallower water to medium depth water you can use uh, probably like a two pound or a three pound lead and then you're just gonna have to get heavier as you go deeper and it depends on the wind and um, current and all that um, these are the cannonball style and then there's also kind of a long skinny halibut style lead that we sell um, and then on the other end the simplest uh, thing you can do is basically um, use a rig like this that we sell to um, attach a, hal uh, a herring. Um, you could use a blue, purple, or even go pretty big with a black label herring. Um, you'll hook this guy in the back through the tail end, and then that guy in the front, and then just attach that right to the spreader, keep it on the bottom of the uh, ocean floor and it'll uh, move up and down and jig for you with the uh, swell. Um, you can also use a hoochie style setup like this. Um, and you could even, so you can scent the hoochie. You could uh, hook a uh, hunk of herring on the back hook. That's one way to do it. Um, here's another, the B2 squid that you could use. It has this insert right here that you can um, do scent on this uh, ball there. and. Um, there's also these long skinny hoochies that work um, and some these gamakatsu uh, big river bait hooks uh, 10 notch work just fine now I'm just going to show you uh, some different bait setups you can use to uh, catch a halibut uh, here we have a herring that we caught in the uh, Yaquina Bay right here, right off our dock there earlier this year. Um, there's a main run where they come into spawn uh, early March-ish. Um, you can catch them with these sabiki rigs. Um, so we've had this guy in the freezer. Um, and then this is the double liter rig that you can use um, and just have it right up, coming right off the spreader here. That's the spreader. Um, uh, Put the, I, I put the hook through the back there where it's pretty uh, beefy, the flesh and bones, so hopefully you can come off the hooks and one in the front there. And uh, you can just jig with that for a hell of it. Um, you can brine the herring to get them a little shinery or firmer. Um, there's some Procure brine and bite. Um, you can also um, use the Procure uh, bait injection thing. Um, with some herring oil and you can just inject it straight into the herring to give it some extra smelliness. Um, there's also some uh, water solu soluble fish oil that you can use uh, and spray it down with that to give it something. Um, the other way you can go with uh, halibut fishing in your bait is go with the hoochie and like the B2 squids come with um, this insert basically that you can scent that up you can uh, inject gels into there, so there's uh, some butt juice is good for halibut. You can inject that in, or put that in the little scent insert thing there. And then uh, you can use the actual butt juice um, to scent this guy here. You can even soak the whole thing in a bag of butt juice. Um, we have some other scents. There's Lunker Lotion for halibut from Atlas Mike's. Um, there's the Potsky Bait Company. Halibut and rockfish nectar. Uh, there's the smelly jelly halibut feast there. It's one thing you can do. Um, that's kind of a lot. A few other things we have for uh, halibut. Um, there's some other attractors you can also do. Um, 
There's some lights here that will uh, strobe. There's a Pro Troll Strike Inline Fish Attractor that you can send down there with your stuff just to give it something extra. And then there's a shark rattle you can use um, as well. It has causes vibrations and uh, some sound to hopefully get the fish over and check your stuff out. Um, as far as where to go, in Newport, you can uh, check ODFW's website. They've got some maps and everything on good places to go halibut f fishing that don't have a uh, high concentration of uh, yellow eye uh, rockfish. Um, and uh, we also have information in our store about where to go so we could let you know. We've got those maps and all the coordinates that you need. And with all that info, you should be able to get yourself a halibut.